Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are back in Portal Knights. Ah, a little hole of water. Alright, last time we went adventuring, doing quests and whatnot, catching up on the old backlogged quests that we left behind, which is a good idea because you get e uh, extra EXP. <clears throat> and in an RP uh, action RPG or any RPG, you want to level up. More levels means more health, more power. More of all the good stuff. <clears throat> oh, voice crack. Great. <laughs> Alright guys, well, in this episode we're going to continue doing that. I want to open a couple of new portals, hopefully. And do some more quests. So I think what I'm going to do to start with is go after... Go ahead and repair my... My stiff. But I'm going to go after some more qu uh, uh, portals at first and then do some quests at the end. Because uh, we got all these levels to go. We left a lot of stuff back there. Why is there a home site on there? There's a house there. I wonder, whether, did I make that my house? Squirt, what? Squire's Knoll has something. Alright. Egg hunt. 30 days. Okay. Egg hunt, huh? 30 days. I'm guessing that's probably because of Easter. Cool. Kind of wondering what you get for that. And I still got these to open up. Comes from Garnet Peaks. But what is this? Did I set this as home or something? I guess I did. By accident. So I'm going to set the, uh, this one uh, as my home. Yeah. I don't know how that was set to my home. Alright, so where we left off here, we went to the Pillars of Perun, but this place leads nowhere, but we have this uh, island here, which doesn't have a link to it, so I'm wondering how you get here, or here, or here, or here, or here, any of these, except for this one. Alright, let's go back to uh, Pockmark Plains, there's going to be a couple more portals from there. Let's do it guys. Oh yeah, and I got cracky yesterday. Even though I like the, the baby dragon. We'll roll with Cracky for a little while. You could have gotten them early. I just didn't turn in the quest for uh, the first boss, actually. Alright, portals. Where are the... Now, I still got my compass upon me here. Let's put the compass here. We're going to use the heal spell instead of the uh, strong healing potions. And I need to empty out my inventory, don't I? Darn guys, darn. I can't play this game in third person. I don't know how the other people can. Well, they're better than me. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea to still collect gold. I want to collect uh, the next tier up. I'm thinking that's platinum. All right, so three. And oh, we got a portal this way. We are. We got ourselves some sign here. Now I got. I wonder how much green do I have left. I don't have a huge amount, but it's still enough to make at least one portal. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Think I got myself in a pickle, guys. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> There's a lot of gold here, so if I ever need it, just come here. There's a bunch. Time to use the launch pad again. Don't want to be trapped in that hole for a while. There we go. We have a little bridge. I'm okay with that. This place has some serious holes. Oh yeah, we never checked out this building. We might check that out. Let's check and see if I go on third person view here. So it's saying there's portals that way. It could be underground from this uh, castle here actually yeah this leads nowhere so it's got to be in that castle not unless it's in these caves chances are though oh yeah and I wanted to welcome I got uh, I want to welcome two new subscribers I got two new subscribers yesterday and if you're seeing this I welcome you to the pop uh, the meerkat nation or the Meerkat family, however you want to look at it. 
And thank you for joining me. And I hope you enjoy your stay. I'll try to do that every time because, you know, oh, here it is. I found the portal. And closer you get to a portal, by the way, it tells you, like, whoa, there's multiple portals here, guys. Because usually those uh, glowing marks around your character that tells you where a portal is, they become more narrow as closer you get to a portal. But you notice something was, like, really wide. That means there's multiple portals around this area. Right, I'm going back to first person view. But I just wanted to welcome everybody. Uh, there, I can't welcome certain people. I'll, I can welcome them if they join my channel. But if they're not open about, you know, like... I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. As long as I get, you know, subscribers, I'll... I'll say thank you every time I can. I try. Joan the guard. Try not to sound so convoluted. I'm just saying that, uh... If I get new subscribers, I will welcome them every time in the next video after I get, uh, after they join my channel, if that makes any sense. I don't know if anybody else does that though. Welcomes everybody. <clears throat> oh, well, too late. You gotta take those guys down quick. I'm going up first to see what's up here. Ah. We got ourselves a chest. What you got for us, chest? Those big healing potions? Yeah, strong. And I got sun diamonds, guys. Those are the things we needed for upgrading the table. Alright, it's a good idea to be up on high areas like this because you can see anything around you up to about that distance. Can't really see anything beyond that point. What is glowing on me, man? Are you, are you like constantly warping to me? Cracky. Oh, cracky. What's funny is you get a pet called Cracky, which is like a... Like a Kraken. Which is a large squid or a large octopus. And, uh... Then you get this as a reward for turning in the... Getting the key on the second boss which was a big worm not a not a big octopus <clears throat> and we do have another quest here the dragon queen slayer in the flesh we could sure use your help right now or right about now the bomb gazes there's been a large increase in their numbers lately I suspect it has something to do with hollow uh, hollow king he's not so happy these days was the Hollow King a good guy at one point? And then he became evil? So I'm guessing I'm supposed to take out Bomb Gazers down here. As Skeletons. Now yeah, as you remember yesterday, I built myself this dagger. Plus a full set of armor. Which still didn't offer a double jump. Bam. Too easy, bro. Too easy. I shouldn't be uh, saying things like that because watch something destroy me. Usually how it goes, right? Oh, what are you shooting at, dude? The ceiling? Ah, at least I'm getting some more uh, portal shards. And uh, make sure to look in these grades because I remember going through some of these dungeons and there'll be like a secret down in these. So I'll lead to a secret part of the dungeon. It doesn't happen doesn't happen often, but make sure to check anyways. <clears throat> you never know. Is there a Skelly? Yes there is. Hey Skelly. Hey you. Ja. Let's see if Sticky Keys comes out again. Had that problem yesterday. There is a way to deactivate it, I just haven't done it yet. I do need to though, because I don't know, I'm never going to use sticky keys. Or maybe sometime in the future, but right now, no. I just want to play me games. And show everybody my, my gameplay of playing these games. 
But always look everywhere because they hide chests in a lot of places. Like this one, you could have just ran down and straight out, and then you missed this chest. And I got those two bags, and you get these if you want some blocks. Which I'm going to do at some point in the future. I can't use those throwing axes, man. Game, you keep giving them to me. Oh, I didn't want that. But uh, I'm going to come back on my, like, off camera and go back to old worlds and to now. And just destroy all these barrels and boxes so I can get all the crafting materials I'll ever need to build on my island. Let's put this here. There you go. Have a candle at the foot of the stairs so anybody walking down would step right on that and then get a burnt, and burnt foot. <laughs> Genius thinking, I say. Genius. But the only person that ever comes down inside these dungeons is me. So therefore, I'm setting my, the setting that trap up just for me. Exclusively. I'm smart. I, re, I, I restate my, my previous saying. Genius. <laughs> I needed to empty out my inventory. Something bad. I left it full. See? That's what I'm saying. Genius. <laughs> Skelly, you don't. You're just. You're just bones, bro. You need to calm down. Put some weight back on you. Quit attacking people. <laughs> Too late, bro. I was trying to help you out, and you just. You just disregarded my. My helpfulness. <laughs> There's a bomb gazer in here. It usually, usually is. Trying not to attract his attention. These guys are too easy, except the uh, pirate ones, uh, the undead pirate ones. They're a little tougher because they do that leap, slam their butt on the ground thing. Ah, uh, you missed. But I did complete that task. Awesome. Every task complete. I think in the next stump. Um, hey, man. Bro. But like I was saying, I think that other portal that I was showing on my compass is down here. And I can't destroy that bag without picking up that candle first. Really? Here, you can have it back. No, I'm not going to set no traps for myself this time. I don't use mana potions too. Oh, I knew there was going to be a portal here. Oh yeah, we have two portals right on the surface outside this building actually. And then we got this one down here. And that's the two that we need to adventure forward. Let me get rid of these bomb gazers. They're going to mess me up while I'm fighting those bony dudes. Hey bonies. Back shot. Too easy. As long as you good, get good at that old uh, rolling. Which reminds me. If you watched my latest episode of Borderlands 2. We lost Roland yesterday. Even though this, that game is old. It's still sad to this day. He's one of the originals man. There. I'll get now. Nah. Oh man. Look at my inventory. It looks like a chest just pooped all over me. You know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Can these stay down permanently until something activates them? Because if that's the case, I'm wondering if I can break them back out of the ground. I don't want to use a trap that I just got. That's new. Dang it. I hate having a full inventory. And I haven't seen a pet in these cages in a long time. The game's like, nope. You're too good. We're going to have to take all the pets away. We're going to make it harder for you to find pets. Yeah, I remember I go back to that one dude. What was this, Django or whatever? The pet seller early on. He has a pug that's $10,000. Man, I can't remember the name of the pug, but man, it's expensive. I'm heading up here because there was a shelf. Because if you placed uh, place items inside of uh, 
furniture, like shelves or whatnot. They stay there until you get come back and get them back out. They don't disappear, like those you know Elder Scrolls games. There we go, right out here. And we're gonna put put these in here. We got three, three slots. We can put some extra junk in. Let's see. Ah, this brick can go. And I can come back and get it if I want to. Just gotta remember where I left it. And I can put these dirt blocks away because I got a full stack of 400. Yeah, I should have just put away my stuff before adventuring, but I was too excited and I wanted to record for you guys. So you are a mighty warrior. Good news for Elysia, I think. Not so for the Hollow Knight. No. Look at that EXP. And I got one of these. These are rare. And we have some cutoff here. If you know, like me doing uh, thumbnails and artwork for Twitter and stuff, you try to avoid this because it happens when you do <laughs> like shadows and whatnot. But that's good EXP. That is. Look how much it just raised my bar, though. All right, what lab level am I exactly? I'm 23. I think the max level in this game is 30. It seems to be that way, because I'm getting closer to the end. Hmm. Now we gotta go down here and activate this portal. And after you activate a portal, you don't have to walk through it. You just activate it and walk away. Because after you activate it on the map, it'll automatically open up the next path. And you can just warp to it. Because I gotta go up top and uh, open up the other portal as well. And we need to empty this inventory. It is a sad state. The excitement of me wanting to play the game made me forget to do all the off-camera stuff. Oh well, you get a little bit of behind behind the scenes here. <laughs> That's okay, right? People like that stuff in movies, right? Alright. Get me some green portal blocks. I need 12. There we go. Set and go. We I made 12 because we know there's a portal up upstairs. Boom. Activation complete. Oh yeah. And now we opened up this place right here. And I'm guessing the other portal's here, so we have two roads to take. Plus we have another path here. That goes down. But look at all these down here we're gonna be going to. All the way up to the key. Still wonder about these. They're not linked to anything. Hmm. Mysteries. The mystery deepens. Actually, I'm going to walk all the way back up. It's a little slower, but trying to go back to the launch pad is going to be... Actually, it's not a big deal. Never mind. We'll go back. It's faster. Since we can see portals on the map now. Like that. I'm not sure if that's the one, though. Yep, yep, there, yep. That's it. There's the building we came from. If we look into the ground here, I don't see it. Where's the other portal? Did I just activate? Oh, it doesn't show. After you activate them, they don't show on the map like that anymore. Derp. It looks like green jello cubes. Like the stuff you get at hospitals and whatnot. They always give you jello at the hospital. Hmm. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut here real fast. I'm going to dump my inventory and we'll be right back here in just a moment. Alright guys, I decided to come back here instead of being back where that portal was because I got attacked by Easter eggs. But yeah, I don't think they hurt too much, but I did get attacked by one and took one down. <laughs> Apparently they uh, attack you. And I uh, forgot to show you guys some stuff I got off camera while I was fighting the dragon. And I got myself another dragon. I got capes, had two of them. I bought these from a new pet seller that I can't remember where he was. Oh, it was a timed event, yeah. That's where I bought these two. There was a, a uh, pet seller that came out of nowhere. It, just, it was one of those uh, map, or uh, world map timed events where I had like a few hours to go see him or uh, like 30 minutes or something and I went there and I got bought the cat bed and the tree stump which you can't get at the other pet seller and I bought a snake there was a snake in there for ten thousand dollars and I was like whoa so I bought this one I think this one was like 400 
and I bought me a rabbit, which was like a thousand. So yeah, I couldn't afford. I could afford everything, but I didn't want to at the time. And I got myself the frostbite dagger. Encore restores 67 health after defeating an enemy. Deals water elemental damage. Strong versus fire. They got dodge chance and movement speed. And then I got a recipe for relic of frost and a recipe for fluffy's courage. Fluffy's courage. Okay. <laughs> All right. See this. Fluffy's Courage, what is that? And Recipe for Relic of Frost. And I wanted to show you guys an Easter egg. I need to find another one out there, but that one came and attacked me. I was like, um, okay. I'm being attacked by an Easter egg. Alright, so I'm trying to find out where I can find these items. I guess so. Okay, so it's an armor piece. No, it's a workbench. Okay. We got ourselves a Fluffy's Courage. Um, what is this? <laughs> it gives you 50 mana and has 10 armor. Okay. That's just weird. Alchemy table. We got Relic of Frost. So, so we got Relic of Thunder, now Relic of Frost. This relic ra radiates a strange cold feeling. What does these do? Strange buzzing relic. I don't know what these do. I need to make these, but they cost these. These are one of the rare items in the game. <clears throat> I got three here. Now put one away. Right here. Which I need to get back out of there. And yeah, put potions in here in the ingredients because they are an ingredient instead of a consumable. But my chests are getting full. Yeah, this is all I got is four. And I put my sun diamonds in here. Because they're new. Right, let's go find ourselves an easter egg here. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a reward for collecting these. But yeah, they're enemies. And after you attack them, you get easter eggs. Oh. Yeah, they don't attack you normally. But if you attack them first. <laughs> easter eggs that attack. With... If this was in my childhood when you did an Easter egg hunt, man, it would have been something else, huh? But I'm going to farm these off camera. I just want to show you guys that this is what they look like. They're not hard to find. I'm wondering if there's some amazing reward after the 30 days is up. It's a long time, so it gives you plenty of time to farm them. I never did the Easter egg thing before because I just recently bought this game, so... This is new to me. I don't know if it's an ongoing yearly thing. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to continue what we were doing. I'll, I'll farm that off camera. We'll see what we get for it. I'm going to collect as many as possible. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to head this way first. I just had to empty that inventory. It was bad. Level crafting crate used in a variety of recipes. You can never have too many energy crystals. Yep. Yep, yep. The mother lore. What? Mother lore? Okay. Sounds like I was trying to say a dirty word there or something. <clears throat> so we start out with a huge pit of water here. And some new stones. There's these new than what I had before in that one cave. No. You get corundum and uh, obsidian. Then you still get these. Oh, they dropped the uh, crystal thread. Which I don't know what that's for just yet. I'm guessing the next series of upgrades. Probably the... Tight, uh... Well, I was about to say Titanite. That is uh, Dark Souls. Sorry. <laughs> Titanium. Maybe I got Dark Souls on the mind right now. I did mention it yesterday and that's probably why. Good game series, but very difficult. Uh, this place is kind of spooky. No hell ring on the side of the map here, which is probably not a good idea. Especially if I'm attacking creatures. Oh, you can't get to me, bro? I'm sorry. He's only level 23. 
He is a, pretty much the same level as me. And his health regenerated because he went over there. Yep, see? And I sank like a stone. Be careful if you're still targeting an enemy while trying to jump out of water. You pretty much can't. How much are these guys worth on the EXP front? Wow, a jellyfish? Usually they're the, one of the cheapest enemies in the game. That's worth a lot of, a lot of points. Four, 400? Alright, I need to get my butt out of this water here. So what I'm going to do is put down some dirt. There we go. You just uh, be careful when you're trying to take on uh, enemies. If they are too far away or something, they will walk back to their original spot. And yeah, they just refill their health instantly. Which I'm not a big fan of. I need platinum. Something bad. Or titanium, or whatever the next upgrade is. I'm thinking that crystal thread has something in, to do with the armor at that level. Alright. Let's try to head on up. Do some kind of like stepladder situation here. Can I get up there? Yeah. Get up there just fine. Alright, steps. Steps to glory here. We got ourselves some ruins. And a dungeon. Alright, let's go to three. Let's check out. I'm going to third person. It says we got a portal this way. Maybe it's in this dungeon, actually. Ooh, we got something to read here. What we got? It's a logbook someone used to track apple harvests. Okay. Apple harvest. So where's the apple trees? That's a new uh, fruit or vegetable that I've not got. Oh, what is that? What is that? Marble? Uh, I knew it. I was like thinking Minecraft, and Minecraft has a block that's similar to this if you play uh, like build craft or industrial craft. I was like, that looks too much like marble. Which is cool though, I, at least I found some. It's the first place I've seen it. Floating slimes. Well, these slimes are easy to take on, right? I thought I saw a crystal here for a second. A yellow one. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Okay, we got floating islands here. There's usually the places I always say carry around a stack of dirt. And this is wrong. This island is the exact reason why. Or a stack of stone, whatever you prefer, as long as you're carrying around a stack of something. There we go. I just covered up cracky. <laughs> you stayed down there forever. Living on the edge. Alright, I'm thinking about going back and checking out that dungeon first, because I think that's where our next portal is. Or at least a portal. So let's go down here real fast here. Hopefully it's not too big of a dungeon. What am I saying though? We enjoy the dungeon delving, right? What makes a game a game? Especially a game like this. You want the dungeon delving? Alright, so we got a hole that goes down here. And then we got a stairs that goes down here. No, you don't, bro. Keep your eyes to yourself. I warned him. You guys saw it, I warned him. Cool. Ah, uh, so satisfying. I dodge thee, and then I take you down. Haha. <laughs> so we got multiple ways to go here, and more ways to go. Wow, this place is going to stretch on, isn't it? And we're almost at the end of my video here. You can't see it. It's like as soon as I start, the video's almost over. 
I could always make them longer, but nobody watches the longer videos. Oh man, we got a big chest, guys. These usually have equipment and stuff in them. I usually find rings. Which I haven't had a, an old, a new ring in quite some time. Loot explosion! Actually, I didn't see any equipment come out. Got a lot of coins. And we got gold ore. And a scroll of teleportation. Ooh. Don't forget the gold. Even though I don't think gold is very useful right now anymore. I need the upgraded version, which is like titanium, I think is the next level. I think I've said that like 15,000 times in this video already. Alright, so instead of warping back, I always build my stairs out because there's a lot to explore here. I'd like to ex at least discover this place out before the end of the video. And these chests are like the small ones. They do refill if you leave and come back. So that's a good idea to leave them behind. I'm not going to go down these holes yet until we discover all the easy to traverse areas. <coughs> and another hole. And another hole. Oh. I was expecting a hole. Uh, somebody was living down here. Uh, I'll take one. You can have the other one back for now. Your full stack of those uh, miners. Really? Yeah, you can take these other ones back. And the bones. I got so many bones at home I don't not need any more. Not right now. But if I put them in here, I can come back for them later. Which most likely I will not remember to do so. But hey, as long as they're there. All these minor healing potions. Always a good idea to check these shelves. Never know what you're gonna get. My mommy used to say, "Life is like a box of chocolates." I don't know why that had that stuck in my head. Another mining healing potion. So you get at least seven to eight healing potions just out of this room. But the loot inside those boxes are randomized as soon as the dungeon is generated. All right. So which hole do we go down first? This hole. We got so many holes to choose from. Alright, Cracky. I think the pets should have, like, there's, like, certain pets that don't attack, and then you gotta have pets that do attack. It only makes sense. I can't move them. I'm stuck right here. Because this door. Spider. A lot of people are scared of spiders, but me personally, not really. Hey, at least uh, my nose didn't act up until almost at the end of my video here. But I'm not going to end this video until we are finished with this dungeon. Can't leave it, you know, halfway. That don't make any sense. But I did waste a little bit of time. I wanted to show you guys the Easter eggs. i never been attacked by an Easter egg before. Not this is one of those stink bombs that kids used to bring to school let an egg go rotten and whatnot which I think has happened once not to me personally just happened at a school I was at this layout is kind of weird keep your lightning to yourself and it goes to a dead end okay This place is weird. Okay, what is the um, gold, uh, cold block and marble? It doesn't say anything about gold. But chests like this, further you go on, some chests will give you ores. And depending on how far you are in, they can give you the next tier up. Without having to go mining first. I'm suspicious about this, guys. Some stuff like this is, is hidden rooms in this game. This looks like it could have been a stairway. 
Hopefully it wasn't. Okay. I'd rather check than not and figure out later on, but I... Oh, those are secrets. Oh. I keep using those up instead of my uh, next uh, level of them because I have them. Instead of using up my latest level version. Oh, uh, I came from over there. Look, there's another hole. What is up with this place in holes? Reminds me of that Disney movie. Check underneath the stairs. Because you never know. You never know. Oh, that health, you died. Classic bitch. I've gotten that recipe so many times. I don't mind the weird singing. It's just the way I am. Sometimes you just have to break out in song. Alright. Come on, be something good in here. Usually there's nothing good. I usually, the, the best things I get out of these uh, cabinets would be torches, uh, sharpening stones, and healing potions. But those weak ones nowadays don't do very much for me. Oh, water bomb. I uh, can't carry that, yeah. I'm full. We did not do any quests in this episode. I just realized that because when I looked at those water bombs, I remember there's that one town that was on fire. And I did not go back. Well, tomorrow we're definitely doing a quest. Today was adventuring, opening uh, portals. Tomorrow we're doing quests. How's that sound? What the heck is that crystal? See, I knew I saw a crystal earlier. Did they disappear or something? Read. Polished crystal. You've never seen anything like this crystal before. Is it natural or man-made? Do I break it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Sigh. Maybe that was a mistake, man. It was a mistake to never be seen again. I was like, ooh, new thing. No, gone. Now I'm sad. I knew I saw something at the corner of my eye that was a crystal or something. I don't know exactly at that one spot where I said I saw a yellow one, but... Alright, we're going to do one more thing. We're at the end of the video, but we're going to travel to the new place because I'm going to see what's there first. And then we'll end the episode there. Not unless I get... Like... A million enemies spawn right next to me right when I uh, spawn in. And then I'm like dead. Maybe exciting exit. Ooh, rain. This is literally the first time I've ever seen rain in this game. Ew, look at that rock up there with the blue lights coming out. Ooh, what are those? <laughs> trypophobia, anybody? Ooh. If you don't know what trypophobia is, it's a uh, fear of small holes in groups like this. Kind of like a lotus sea pod. We've got new crystals. It looks like we have a NPC village. These look like actual homes. But I'm out of time on my video. So we're going to come back here. Okay so tomorrow's my last. next episode. What I'm going to do. We're going to come here and adventure on this island. Just a little bit. I know a little bit can turn into 40 minutes very quickly. I know. Just listen to me here. <laughs> We're going to come here, we're going to be uh, spend about 10 minutes here, look around, maybe get some new harvestable stuff, and then we're going to do uh, quests. How's that sound? Stone block and coal. Alright guys, well, I have to end it here, we are out of time. Interesting place though. But yeah, 10 minutes here tomorrow, and then after that we'll do quests. Sounds like a plan. Alright guys, well, if you'd like to join the Meerkat Nation or the Meerkat family, it's all the same. Either way, whatever fits you, floats your boat. Uh, subscribe and join today. And uh, as a reminder, I had two new subscribers yesterday, and I welcome you aboard. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you stay and enjoy the content that I 
provide. And uh, if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. And if you didn't, guys, I'm still learning. Give me a chance here. Still subscribe, still like to support this channel. And I am getting better every day. More confident, more better. And uh, next to that subscribe button, you see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon, then you become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad. And when you become part of that exclusive club, everything I upload, you won't miss because you get notifications for it. So you don't get, you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. All right, guys. Each and every one of you have an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.